Alright guys, well it looks like the storm clouds are gathering. The storm clouds are gathering over New York baby. Here on this gloomy, it is a Thursday afternoon, July 13th, 2023 and I am uh, getting my ass back home to bugs in a jar farm. Jesus fucking Christ, where I never should have left. I, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I just had some crazy fucking notion. Cra I mean, I, I realize, guys, just, just uh, how completely out of touch with reality your old Doomer had become. I, I had some ridiculous notion that maybe, just maybe, I could take a few days out of my fucking worthless teeny weeny little life, take a few days out of being a super host at my vacation rental business at Bugs in a Jar Farm and join a friend uh, at a bluegrass festival in upstate New York. You know, take a few fucking days off, uh, play some acoustic music with uh, old friends and hopefully making some new friends, getting a little bit of a change of scenery, maybe camping at some beautiful place, in the fucking Catskill Mountains for five nights, not thinking about fucking doom and gloom and, and uh, my worthless, teeny weeny, puny little fucking life, uh, Mr. Nowhere Man living in his nowhere land. You, you think that, uh, that, that maybe, maybe the fucking universe would give me that. Would give, would, would give me that. This was my one opportunity, probably, but you know, between now and November 1st, to uh, take a break from changing fucking sheets and uh, dealing with whiny people and good fucking God and take a few days off. And, uh, but of course, I was dreaming uh, the fucking universe is not going to fucking hand me uh, a, a fucking few days off. Uh, here we go. Here is my life. So, this is what the fuck I am, uh, I am getting away from. I, uh, I spent four fucking hours, four fucking hours yesterday sitting in a goddamn chair uh, out in a fucking parking lot in the goddamn rain helping clueless fucking morons uh, park their goddamn gas-sucking cars. Uh, and uh, I, I don't know, at, at least the goddamn universe looking out for me uh, I, unlike probably, I don't know how many dozens of other people uh, there, I got my fucking truck uh, out of the goddamn mud hole by the skin of my fucking teeth. Uh, I got out of there, uh, out of that fucking mud hole uh, before getting my ass stuck down there for a fucking week. Uh... Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, you know. And the, 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 the whole thing, uh, I, I, I knew it within the first, uh, certainly within the first hour, if not the first half hour of arriving there. <clears throat> you know, when my friend and I pitched our camp in this beautiful campsite, this private, beautiful campsite out in the woods, down along the creek, 
Uh, I was kind of suspicious why nobody else was camping there. And uh, this goddamn little hippie cop coming up on their goddamn golf cart. And I looked at my friend Lulu and I said, this doesn't look fucking good. The very last folk festival I went to in Texas, uh, I was just setting up camp and, and the fucking camp uh, site that I've been using uh, for 12 fucking years and some goddamn hippie cop coming out there saying pack up your shit and go down there and camp in a, you know, in, in just a nest of clueless fucking morons and ticks. I have pulled five ticks off of me. Yesterday, I pulled five ticks off of me in one day. And I'm not talking about these little, uh, <clears throat> these little black seed ticks like I have it uh, in, in the Finger Lakes. These were, I haven't looked these up they're kind of beige and red, kind of, I don't know, they're, they're these are big fuckers, uh, and they're kind of a mottled, uh, kind of red and beige, uh, five of those motherfuckers probably have goddamn Lyme's disease right now, or some other goddamn fatal tick-borne disease, which will hopefully fucking kill me. Uh, you know, pretty, pretty damn quick. I, I just want some disease that'll fucking kill me quick and, and, and just get this over with. Uh, you know, so one, one thing, of course, going to a bluegrass festival with a, a, a belt full of harmonicas, bringing a wind instrument to a fucking string festival, it, it, you know, you're already uh, setting yourself up for rejection. And uh, so I went ar around for two nights and tried to uh, infiltrate these bluegrass uh, pick and jams. And I didn't actually get kicked out. You, you know, these pickers were uh, at least kind enough to let me sit over in the goddamn corner. Uh, so, I did my stint. Uh, I had the 4 to 8 p.m. stint uh, yesterday. So, I was supposed tonight, my job, it, it, here was the setup. I was supposed to, at, at 8 o'clock tonight, with severe thunderstorms, take shelter, cover your ass, uh, you know, th that those kind of thunderstorm warnings. I was supposed to sit in a fucking chair in the middle of a goddamn uh, field uh, looking a lot like Woodstock, uh, you know, that, that nobody could drive through without getting their fucking car stuck. Uh, helping clueless fucking morons get their car stuck in the mud. I'm supposed to sit out there for four fucking hours tonight, miss whatever music they're actually going to be able to play with this weather forecast, get off work after midnight, uh, find my way back to my leaky fucking tent, uh, climb into that goddamn tent, listen to a fucking bunch of drunks uh, hooting it up uh, till 3 o'clock in the morning. Then I was supposed to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning, and at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, I was supposed to be back uh, in, in, in that chair for four more fucking hours. Uh, so four hours sitting in a chair in the pouring rain, uh, getting struck by lightning and pneumonia, uh, about six hours listening to clueless fucking morons in, uh, in, uh, goddamn, uh, in a goddamn leaky tent 
then get up there, slog through the fucking mud, sit there for four more hours. You know, fuck that noise. I told my friend, I said, darling, uh, I said, uh, I would rather roll around naked in a nest of fucking scorpions and then sit there in that fucking chair and that uh, downpour, that deluge uh, going on there at that fucking bluegrass festival. So I packed it up and left. And so now, of course, uh, I, I need to get her back. So this bluegrass festival is in the Catskill Mountains uh, in the middle of fucking nowhere, about 40 miles due south of Albany. She needs to be on a goddamn plane in Syracuse on Sunday. So I am driving all the fucking way back home, get up Sunday morning, turn around, drive back, drive fucking back to, to, to this fucking bluegrass festival, pick up my friend, turn back around, and take her to the fucking Syracuse airport. And, uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, so, what's that? Uh, about seven to eight hours in the car. Probably seventy-five, eighty dollars worth of gasoline. Uh, carting my friend all around the state of Texas. And I have nobody but myself to blame. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's not her fault. Uh, so anyway, uh, but all of this is just a, a, so that's what I've been up to and what I'm getting ready to be up to, but this is just a long segue. So what, what really went down last night is, uh, so I got home, uh, I dragged my ass into my fucking, uh, wet tent at one o'clock in the morning. I'm sitting there, uh, my friend, is she's already gone to bed in her tent. Uh, I am in the middle of 5,000 people. I, I am within a get, get less than a half mile, I would say 5,000 uh, acoustic music lovers, a lot of them you know, picking and grinning and uh, drinking margaritas and smoking weed and having a good time with all of their friends, uh, you know, that they've known for years and get together every year at the, Bla at the Gray Fox Bluegrass Festival. Uh, you know, their old friends and, of course, all the fucking happy couples in love. Uh, all the young starry-eyed lovers and the, uh, and the old married couples who have been doing this. Uh, same thing. I, I was talking to one guy in the parking lot. He and his wife have been doing this every year since 1986. This is their big uh, treat uh, for the summer. So I'm sitting there uh, with, within a 10-minute walk of 5,000 people uh, who in, enjoy, uh, uh, you, you know, acoustic music uh, in, in the Catskill Mountains. And I was working that goddamn parking lot. So I probably, I'm guessing I parked about 60 to 70 cars out there in that goddamn mud flat uh, last night. And I would say about t at least 20 of them were attractive women there by themselves. Attractive women uh, there at that bluegrass festival camping by themselves, drive, most of them, you know, driving up from the city, uh, down from Albany or whatever. Uh, you know, single woman after single woman after single woman coming in. There, there were more single women than single men. Uh, and, and having to endure that uh, over and over and over again. 
uh, you, you know, falling in love with all of these goddamn little female fiddle players and whatnot, and just getting more and more fucking depressed. But 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 every bit is depressing as all of those uh, available, but not to me, uh, women camping there by themselves uh, last night. It was, what it was, was as much of, or, or worse than that, were these groups of friends, these close-knit groups of acoustic music pickers, you know, usually numbering anywhere from like four to 20 people. Uh, somewhere in the 4 to 20 group where they, you know, they, they get their camp together. These are all close friends. Uh, you know, they set up their community kitchen and their picking circles. And they all know and love each other. And they, uh, they know each other's songs and blah, blah, blah. And everybody's hugging each other and uh, telling stories on each other and, and just doing what small groups of like-minded people do when they get together, which is, uh, you know, to have fun in these uh, small, intimate social gatherings, uh, doing what they like to do, which in this case is eat food, eat a bunch of food, uh, drink, uh, drink a bunch of liquor, smoke a bunch of weed, and sit around uh, playing acoustic music till late in the night. And... They don't want some fucking unknown stranger, uh, especially who plays a fucking wind instrument at their goddamn stream fest, uh, you know, showing up uh, with his goddamn harmonicas and trying to horn in to their little vibe they got going. And, and uh, it's called jam busting. Uh, I mean, as I say, people were, were not impolite to me. I didn't have anyone to tell me to get the fuck out of here. But you know what I'm saying. It's just uh, they, they had, uh, I, I was just invisible. I was, I was irrelevant. I was invisible. Uh, I was adding absolutely nothing to the mixture. Bluegrass music is not the kind of music I play. So I just gave it up. You, you know, my friend... Uh, she said, fuck it. She went to bed uh, at midnight. I gave it another hour. And uh, so I come back to my tent, sitting there, sitting in that fucking soggy tent all by my goddamn self last night. And, and I was fucking hungry after sitting in that motherfucking chair for four fucking hours uh, volunteering uh, out there in that goddamn parking lot. You know, we're, the, the volunteers are supposed to get fed. So my uh, crew chief, uh, she brought me, me and the, the other guy working there out in the rain. She brought us these two soggy, cold little pieces of uh, pizza. That was our dinner uh, after being out there in the fucking rain dealing uh, with, with all of that shit that she dumps off two fucking little soggy ass cold pieces of pizza it says enjoy your fucking dinner you know fuck that noise so I, I was fucking starving goddamn one o'clock in the morning I can't you know I wasn't ready to go to bed uh, I was ready uh, to either be playing music uh, or hopefully uh, e you know, finding my doomer chick forever at a fucking bluegrass festival. And uh, so I'm sitting there uh, and I reach in the cooler and I pull out two ice cold raw hot dogs. So I make two ice cold raw hot dogs and put uh, and found some mustard to squirt on these ice cold fucking hot dogs sitting there uh, eating ice cold hot dogs and uh, drinking a, a, a fucking margarita by myself at one o'clock in the fucking morning 
and uh, I got up this fucking morning. Of course, the internet was down. There was no fucking internet. Uh, I'm getting all of this shit from the uh, vacation rental place that I, I, you know, I need to be uh, dealing with my goddamn clients that if you go 24 hours, uh, you know, without talking to your clients, you lose your super host status. And I'm telling the people, I said, I'm out in the middle of fucking nowhere. I said, I might not have any internet for five fucking days out here. And they said, well, you can flush your fucking super host status down the fucking toilet. Uh, set your priorities straight. Uh, you, you know, and I canceled uh, my goddamn business for the weekend. Uh, and, you know, probably cost myself several hundred fucking dollars in, in uh, income to go out there this weekend. And, and I'm sitting there, to, you know, eating those fucking ice cold hot dogs uh, at one o'clock in the morning by myself, listening to all those people having fun, playing music, and all of that shit within a five minute walk for me. And uh, it, it, I, I won't call it an epiphany. It wasn't an epiphany, it was more like a capitulation, either a capitulation or just a fucking surrender, and I just uh, told myself, uh, you know, I just told myself, Hambone, uh, it, it's over, uh, you're, you're fucking 63 years old, you are never going to have a girlfriend again. You can kiss goodbye any chance of ever having a girlfriend. You're probably never going to have sex again. I might as well just completely abandon uh, any chance of ever having sex again, ever having a girlfriend again. But, it, but in many ways, more importantly, I, you know, I just realized that I am never going, uh, you know, to put together a, a small group of uh, like-minded friends who uh, love to go camping at, uh, at music festivals and play acoustic music uh, late into the night. Uh, it's never going to happen again. And all, all, of, all of those years are, are behind me in Austin. Now, it might happen, when, you know, once every three or four years when I go back to Texas in the springtime during festival season uh, and, and go to some music festivals with uh, any of my friends who aren't dead yet. And it, it, it's, it's never going to happen. Uh, I'm never going to put that together again in my life. Uh, I, 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 it's just I, I, I'm never going to have a close-knit circle of friends. And as much as I love my little imaginary friends uh, here on YouTube, I love you guys, but you don't. You know what I'm saying. Uh, there, there, there's a fucking difference. Uh, so no, uh, no insult there, but it's nice. It's, it's, it's never going to fucking happen. I, I'm going to spend, uh, I'm just, uh, going to be bumbling along, uh, for the rest of my fucking life, uh, alone, uh, with, you know, with my thumb up my ass. Uh, there's going to be a few little bright moments of sunshine uh, in the rest of my fucking life. This is it. Uh, you know, I can't think of a better fucking metaphor. Uh, my, my, my whole fucking life is a washout. I, I, I have nothing to look forward to. It's not... It's not just like I have no doomer chick forever uh, to look forward to again. Uh, 
it, 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 it's I, I have, uh, I have nothing to look forward to. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to be getting older, uh, more feeble. It, it's, uh, I have a, a lifetime of being alone, a lifetime of, of loneliness, of boredom, uh, you know, and just uh, trying to, uh, you know, stay one step ahead uh, of this fucking black cloud of depression by, uh, you know, just for at least half the year, uh, you, you know, I can throw my fucking energy in, in, into bugs in a jar farm and uh, planting fucking impatience, I guess, uh, is it, my fucking life, that, that my, my fucking social life is checking in uh, total strangers uh, into my tiny houses so they can go in there to my tiny houses and fuck all night while I sit down there by myself with my thumb up my fucking ass. And then, uh, that's half the year, and then I have six months to uh, drive around aimlessly and pointlessly uh, with my fucking thumb up my ass, traveling around alone, eating alone, drinking alone, getting up every morning alone, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just, it's, it, it, as I say, I, I really hit a level of, uh, I don't know if this is what you call acceptance or, or not. And, uh, and, and all of this shit, I mean, it, it has virtually nothing to, to do with being a doomer. Well, I mean, obviously it has something to do with being a doomer. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's not like my, just, just my total sense of emptiness, uh, just this, this empty void that is, uh, my future. It, it's not, it really isn't because this, this fucking planet is going down the fucking tubes. Now, that is just kind of like an overlay, uh, you know, just kind of like an overlay of, uh, you know, my, my own teeny weeny little personal life is just kind of like a microcosm uh, of this planet. It's, uh, it, you know, the collapse of global industrial civilization and everything else, it, it's not... Uh, I, I honestly don't think we're going out with a bang. Now, we might go out with a nuclear war. So that would be the only way we're going out with a bang is if we have a nuclear war, which is quite possible. But uh, my guess is just like I personally am going to go out uh, with a fizzle. Uh, that global industrial civilization is, is just going to fucking fizzle. Uh, I'm just I, I'm I'm just basically on on a on a big fizzle for the rest of my worthless fucking life. And this fucking tick. You see that fucking tick crawling up my goddamn arm? Jesus fucking Christ. This is the sixth fucking tick. Uh, having this rant, here comes this fucking tick. Dump him out the window. Uh, so that makes, that was tick number six. I very well right now guys very easily could have six ticks uh stuck in me right now uh so as i say maybe i i have contracted some sort of fatal tick-borne illness 
I think most of these tick-borne illnesses are kind of long, drawn out, uh, just painful, ugly ways to die. So I probably, my souvenir that I'm bringing home from the Gray Fox Bluegrass Festival is a fucking fatal tick-borne illness where I'm, I'm, you know, where this all of what's left of my body is just going to start atrophying and I'm going to go into, you know, joint pain and paralysis and uh, that kind of stuff. You know, the usual uh, fatal lingering uh, horrible deaths until I just fizzle out and die, which is a pretty good uh, metaphor for the collapse of industrial civilization. We are the ticks. Humanity, we are the ticks, uh, you know, that have given this planet a, you know, just a long, drawn out, painful, slow decline fizzle until the planet dies. So it, it, it is perfect karma that this is the way that I am going to die. Uh, it's exactly what I and every other fucking human uh, born uh, on this planet deserve is a long, slow, ugly, painful, lingering death while we just fizzle out and finally one day we wake up dead and, and this fucking bullshit it comes to a fucking end. And anyway, so that's what I finally uh, came to terms with last night. So I guess if I figured all that out at age 63 that my trip uh, to the Gray Fox Music Festival was not a total washout. So anyway, I see my battery warning light is flashing. So I'm going to wrap this up and get back to my puny, worthless, little lonely existence. Get back to my dog. I miss my dog. Get out there and get back to your lonely, miserable, little pointless existence while you still can. Bye, guys.